Oh. No, no. You know, we've, gosh, I mean, gosh, we've done this probably for the last four years. Um, and Gambit has never been a bad boy. The one that I worry about really is um, my is the dog. I worry about the dog. The dog would eat them in one bite. The dog would chomp them in one bite. I worry about the dog. I don't worry about the cat. What are they? Um, this is a mixture of ducks and turkeys and chickens who are not supposed to be housed together. But they are currently being housed together because I don't I don't have a whole lot of space. Say we can't ship ice cream out of the state of Virginia. Ducks and chicken, two turkeys. You know, I have always heard that you can't house them together. Something about disease transmissions across the species, babe. Um, but I could do more research into it. I just haven't. There they are. They're upset. Tiara's, Tiara's taking the trash out like a good husband. Yeah, I do a couple things. Which one is the turkey? I have two turkeys. That one is the turkey. And nobody bought him. Nobody wanted him at the at the southern states because he was much older and so he was starting to feather and so people thought that like he was weird or he or she that they thought they thought something was wrong with him and so know, and so we picked him up and the other turkey is is right here that's the baby turkey and that's the older turkey and they're getting warm they're all wet from the shower which was not the ducks were happy about it. Oh, tell them about how ducks, why ducks can stay warm. Oh, um, so fun fact about ducks. Um, ducks have a countercurrent blood flow system. Um, so that's why ducks can swim in very cold lakes. Um, in the middle of winter where other species can't is because um, they actually, the way that their veins work, especially in their legs, um, is the the warm blood goes on the outside and then the it gets cold obviously from the air or from the water and then it actually pulls into the center of their body um to warm it back up which is really cool i think it's really cool about ducks you can look it up i think it's called countercurrent blood flow system oh when you said what are they meant the floors in the kitchen um, so this, what is this? You did this. What is this? This is just, uh, is decking. What is, um... Something decking. You know, and then... Trex is outside decking. I can't make one. Oh. Don't mind my dirty floors. You buy them planks at the... So this, Gamba is still yelling at us. Um, so this uh, messy floor is, um, the original floor and that came with the house. And the house was abandoned. I guess we're going back here to talk to... Oh. Talk to the chickens. Yes, those. Yeah, it's, it was original flooring that came with the house. I think it's pine. Heart pine. What heart pine? Heart pine. Tiara says. Pine Sh oh, what a clever idea! Oh, you're so clever. You don't see any dirt. Oh, that's funny. Here, hold this for a minute. Oh. Here. But I'm I'm ready to like go eat and shower and stuff. Hi. Hi, everybody. Peafowl, so finicky. What are you doing, boss? I need to hold. They said something about putting it in a shallow pan. Might stop showing the kitchen. The water? Yeah, might help with the mess. Oh, like if you set it inside. Like a the... square one or like this cake one? Like a cake one or like a square one? Are they going to be able to reach it? Oh, flip it, flip the pan upside down, put it on top. Create space between sawdust and the, that's how they had them in Southern States. Is that what they meant? Or is it from flicking the water everywhere? Uh, I think either one. All right, yeah, flip, flip, do it. No, I mean, flip it over and just put it inside of it, see what happens. It would at least collect the water. Well, that's, that's what I was worried about. But I mean, like Southern States, they had it up on bricks and stuff, you know. Yeah, it'll catch the splash. Maybe they won't make such a mess. Anyways, 
I mean, uh, their chicken waters are up off the ground, but I was worried about them being able to reach it. Yeah, I think we'll reach a time. That's Gambit. His food dish is right there, which is why he's like so vexed. No, he's vexed because he wants to do other things. Other Come things. here, Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, guys. It is. Whoa, look at that wild hairdo. Cha, cha. Dude hair. Okay. Um, dinner time. It is we just got home. We're hungry. We need sustenance. And then. We're going to hang out, which means my wife is going to fall asleep on it. What's up, Dan? How you doing, buddy? Um, we need sustenance, and then we're going to hang out, which really means my wife's going to fall asleep on the sofa while with I watch my TV. With my snuggling my gamey cat. Look, with he's her happy now. Cat. Dan, when y'all coming to get ice cream? Look, show him Gamey's face and how happy he is. Oh, it's, it's way past her bedtime. My bedtime for sure. So you guys, if if you don't know who Dan Henry is, it's um it's Dan Henry, um, married to Kelly Henry, um super awesome TikTok couple, power couple, uh, you know just good peeps, good all around peeps, um, and you should go follow him because he's just a super positive guy, uplifting guy, and um, one day they're gonna come get ice cream and we're gonna hang out. My best ice cream flavor. Is, uh, oh, thanks, Dan. Um, I, right now, banana pudding. I think the banana pudding is where it's at at the moment. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's out of this world. And so then you take a little bit of, like, if you want to take something that's good and you want to make it blow your mind, you get a little, the kids are actually visiting their great grandfather in Tennessee with my mother. You, uh, you get some heavy whipping cream, you whip you up some whipped cream, a little vanilla in it, it's bang ring, and then you put that on top of your banana pudding. Oh my goodness. I hope Farmer Blake, how you doing, buddy? Banana pudding. All right, but I gotta go. I gotta go to bed, guys. This is way, way, uh, I haven't even eaten dinner. I gotta eat some dinner. I gotta get to bed. And, um... Bangarang? Yeah, Bangarang is from Peter Pan is exactly what I said. I'm bringing Bangarang back. Um, you guys have a good night. Before you jump out of here, um, yeah, crush some vanilla wafers on top would be awesome. Um, thank you all so much for the support. No, Thanks for following. Thanks for watching the videos. Um, just supporting us on our adventure and, and you know, um, all y'all do for us, really. Y'all have a great evening. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine.